We are on the range practicing with purpose and Paul Horton you have in your hands a wedge. So we are going to talk about wedge control, not necessarily wedge spin. Yeah, spin is, you see it on TV and the tour players, they spin it like crazy and it's pretty cool to watch the ball spinning back. If the tour players had their choice, they would like to throw darts and have the ball just stop where it landed. That would be easiest for them. Uh, so we're going to show you today how you can basically control the distance you need to, to hit the ball in the air and maybe on the ground depending on turf conditions. So if it's 20, 40, 60 yards, we're going to show you how to control that distance. Okay, the two key elements in controlling your distance with your wedges is length of swing and pace, the pace of your swing. We're going to show you length of swing because it's far easier to control your distance with the length. So for example, if I'm on a clock uh, looking at me face on, down at the bottom is six o'clock, up at the top is 12, we got nine o'clock over here. So if I took three different lengths of swings and I went from eight o'clock to nine o'clock to 10 o'clock, that's gonna produce three different yardages out there for me. So let me illustrate this. So I'll swing one to eight o'clock and through. Keep in mind, I'm just doing, using finesse pace. I'm trying to keep the pace even, not trying to change it. So now I'm gonna swing one at nine o'clock. That's gonna go a little farther. I'm gonna be mindful of how far these balls are going in the air. And then I'll go to 10 o'clock with this one. So kind of a three quarter swing. So once you have control of the length of your swing, it's going to help you control your contact and give you ultimately more control of the spin you put on the ball.